Manhattan we go. Say it's quit. Ralph. What's going on, Ralph? Marky, to, to, to hear the father say that he's quit is absolutely heartbreaking. You use the right word, Kim. When I hear that, I hear of a, a father throwing up his hands. Because all you have is just, if you can't go to your dad and say, hey, I'm in trouble, please help me. I know that's happened a hundred times probably, but there has to be something that that man can do to to get his son and turn him around some way, somehow. If, if the parent quits, um, I can't. I can understand why everybody else should quit, but the parents uh, have to stick with this kid. Uh, I don't want to see this kid turn up in the obituaries. I want to see this kid come through miraculously. I think it could happen if he gets the right help, but who knows? You know, when Phil, when Phil Jackson took over, uh, Kim and Mark, did you think that we, I was, I was, I was elated. I thought that this was the, the, uh, the beginning to something wonderful. Now I see maybe things are starting to fall into place. I'm not so sure that they're going in the right direction, but to, to, get, to get these players, bring them all together, and try to get a unit to make the playoffs is a good start. Wouldn't you agree? I would. I mean, I would. I, I'd like to see the Knicks be relevant. Um, and I don't have every confidence in the world that Joakim Noah is going to stay healthy. And I don't love the fact that they gave him four years and $72 million. Uh, I thought Rose was a good gamble for a one-year gamble. See if you can get the best out of him. If it doesn't work, you wash your hands of him after a year. You go on your merry way. You go in another direction. And next summer, Russell Westbrook's going to be a free agent. A lot of people have the Lakers pinned to him because he went to school at UCLA, a local kid. But he's the one this past year that said, you know, he would be open to the idea of playing with Porzingis one day. So that's an opportunity potentially next summer down the line. I'd like to see the Knicks play quality basketball and have a team that's 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 good to watch. I'm not going to go out there and talk about them being a championship caliber team. I'd like them to be relevant in the NBA and be a playoff team and and not counting down the days to the end of the regular season to where we get to the off season and how quickly we can get to July 1st. That's where I'd like to see this team be back in the playoffs and and playing meaningful basketball games. It would be fun to see. Yeah, and you know this this city comes alive, Mark, when the basketball is good. I mean, they call it a baseball town, but basketball is pretty much the centerpiece of the town in a lot of different ways. You know, when I talk about when you talk about pitching, Kim, and you said before how the Mets were had a wealth of pitching. We didn't have to worry about that type of thing. The I think the starting pitcher these days is vastly overrated. I think if you're getting five innings out of these guys, you're lucky. That's a quality start. No, that it's terrible not. term. I, well, I know it's not, Kim. That's what they use, and I can't no, stand it either. No, it's not. They use six. So, okay, six. Okay, when they, they give you six innings, and they give you quality, maybe three runs or less, and they say, well, I did. A, I had a good outing, you're talking about starting pitching being really not the centerpiece of your of your team anymore. I think the strong bullpens in the future is going to be uh, – What's what's coming? I mean, I, if the Mets bullpen can um, you know provide three innings the way the Yankees bullpen seem to be able to, I mean, I think the Mets will uh, will hang in there during the course of this year. Although it's going to be tough, Washington looks tough. I, well, I don't know. I, it's it, the starters define the team. The starters give you an opportunity, even if you're a wild card team. You, you know, Noah Syndergaard would give you a shot, and you'd have a feel good about your chances against any other wild card team in the National League. Uh, if Harvey's cooking with gas, if DeGrom finds a couple extra miles per hour, but he has battled, you know, you look at it, that is what makes you, even if they're not scoring, Kim, what makes you feel good is is the talent that the Mets have in that starting rotation, which is very, very difficult to find. Yeah, I mean, teams are built differently. Sure. Even in the NFL, with the salary cap and everything else, teams devote their monies differently and their energies differently and their... Um, they, you know, you have some teams that are paying twenty-two million dollars for a quarterback, and some that are paying less than five million for a quarterback, or right around five, or whatever the case might be. Rookie contracts obviously are far different, even though, interestingly, some of these rookies this season we may not see play quarterback very much. We'll see if Jared Goff ends up with the Rams, but it sounds like Carson Wentz may not even see the field for the year Philadelphia one. Eagles year one, and they certainly are investing heavily at quarterback in both backup Chase Daniel and presumed starter Sam Bradford. To go back to one thing Ralph said about the Knicks, I guess what would surprise me most under Phil Jackson is how often the Knicks have appeared rudderless. They so often feel like a team that's lost a grasp of what's going on or the ability to fix it. And I guess when Phil came here, I thought that would be sort of the starting point and the foundation of building a contender. Phil has this. Right. Phil's got it. Phil knows what to do. And instead, they kind of flail around like a lot of teams. 
Yeah, and that is, you're right, that's fair. That's been, I, I feel like now they have a, a more defined sense of direction than they have in years gone by, but you're like right. right now. Right now. Maybe, yeah. Right now, be. but up until this point. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I think it was right now. Yeah. <laughs> Mons with that. What do you mean, Kim? I don't know. 418. Melissa and I mean. Jones with you. <laughs> In for Mike.